Hello everyone, Tomasz here from Frames Magazine and on today's video we will be talking with Cynthia Gladys about this photograph of hers. Enjoy! Cynthia, welcome back. We are recording again. It's so nice to have you again on the Frames uh, channel. How are you doing? Th uh, thanks for having me. I'm doing really well, Tomas. It's good to be here. We we are here today to you know to talk about your photograph, right? Uh, about this about this particular image. But before we dive into this photograph, you know, uh, if you could just share a couple of words about yourself and about your photography, you know, what you do photographically with, with our viewers. Just 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 a couple of things. Oh sure, I am. Um, I'm a passionate photographer, even though I can't always get out and shoot. But um, I like to find beauty in the everyday, in the banal, in uh, things that other people wouldn't necessarily notice. That seems to have become my style, whether I intended that in the beginning or not. Um, I just really like to take pictures and process them and make them look good and share them. And hopefully uh, people enjoy them. Yeah, so... I definitely I'm enjoying this this one. I mean, so you found something here, you you reacted to, you know, it's a wonderful kind of detail shot. Tell us a little bit more, you know, if you could share a, a story behind this image, you know, what are we looking at here? Uh, um, how did you find this place? What was happening? Uh, sh share a story. <laughs> I'd love to because it's kind of an odd um it's sort of interesting how this came about. Because normally I shoot, I, I go out with my camera and I explore, I look for things on my walks. I, I may for, you know, pick a destination and go for the day and just take pictures of that place for the day. Um, I was, 2022 was kind of a rough year for, for me. Um, there were a lot of real life things that happened that, um, I hate to say they got in the way of my photography, but they did. So I was spending a lot of time, um, going through my Lightroom catalog, I'd find some things on walks, but just not the intense shooting that I did before. And then I read the article that Diana Gion wrote about the, the female gaze about Aline Smithson. And I was quite taken with her work. And I just, actually, I was blown away because she has these projects that are, I don't know, kind of small, you know, just the one was of a doll. And I thought I could do something like that. So I was chatting with Diana and she knows that I've been having some stress over the last few months. So she said to me, why don't you shoot your stress? And I, I thought she meant <laughs> self portraits or me going, oh, you know, and, and looking stressed and things like that. And she said, no, no, no. She said, shoot, you know, you don't necessarily have to go out. She said, shoot in your yard, shoot in your house, just start shooting and see what happens. Well, that's all I needed to hear because we're in the middle of this. Um, we had a plumbing disaster and my bathroom had to get ripped apart. And I, I just thought to myself, oh, I'm going to shoot my bathroom and I'm going to call it gutted because gutted was what they did to my bathroom. They ripped the whole thing mm -hmm. apart. And also I felt gutted because it was a rough year. So I got really excited and I started um, shooting, like I'd wait till the guys did something for the day and then I'd go in and take pictures of my bathroom. And it's really, it's quite enjoyable. And I get to do it again in the spring because this plumbing disaster also affected our kitchen. So that's, that's also gonna get gutted. One, one gutting at a time though. But this was, Right when they started ripping the walls down, there's a lot of really interesting stuff behind the tile. And, you know, I, I've been through renovations before and I knew what I was going to be dealing with. But um, this particular, I, I just saw this and I said, oh, I really like all the, the netting and the little dots and everything. So I, it reminds me of shooting my sand pictures. They're abstracts of things I see that look good. I hope that's so, enough of an explanation. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so I understand you created the, the the entire series of images similar to this one. Um, I'm getting there. I I shoot a little bit. Um, I try to stay out of their way. They got a kick out of it in the beginning. They're like, "Why the heck is she taking pictures of the you know insulation and plywood and stuff like that?" But I do a couple. Um, 
I, I look around every day to see, because this is going on for a while now. So I look around for things that look appealing and, um, and I just compose them with my camera. And then I love to post process. So I work on them. I straighten them and clean them up a little, make them look um, graphic. My style's pretty graphic. So I'm really having fun with it. It got me, um, I had been getting kind of down about the fact that I couldn't get out to shoot and this just shows you that there's opportunities everywhere. You just need an idea, you know, listen to people who suggest something. You never know what, you know, it might work out for you. So I'm pretty excited. No, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we are looking at one, you know, individual image from this series today. Yeah. And uh, you, you said before, you know, before we started recording that actually probably maybe it works even better as a, as a part of this ongoing series. For me, it absolutely stands, stands, you know, stands out on its own. It's, it's a beautiful gr graphical abstract shot. I mean, I love this kind of work. How close were you? Like what, what kind of, you know, dimensions we are talking here in terms of the square? Well, I, I, I this is challenging because my bathroom is tiny. It's really just the stall shower and the, uh, the commode and, I had to stand inside the shower area and I can't really, I didn't use a, ma a, micro, a macro lens or anything and I couldn't really get very close. So I was backing up against the wall and experimenting. I use my, I, I, my favorite lens is my Fuji 18 to 135 and I was backing up and trying different, you know, zooming in, zooming out. Um, I did try, uh, I also have a medium format Fuji, but that I could, I just couldn't get close enough with that for some of them. But I've also taken the, um, taken my camera out into the garage and I've gotten some really nice images out there of their, you know, um, their setup, their tile cutting machine and the slurry. And, um, it's just really, I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm jazzed again, you know? I think it will be extremely interesting, you know, next time to have somebody actually filming you and doing it, you know, squeezing into oh, those. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be embarrassing. Uh, oh, man, the house looks like uh, who hit it and ran. It's really horrible <laughs> right now. It's very, um, it's crazy. What? One of the things you know, I'm 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 planning with this kind of new new video series here is I wanna and I wanna start with you. We are starting with you and with your photograph today. You know, right. to, <laughs> yeah. But you know, I asked you before. Love this stuff. <laughs> I would like to ask you, and I ask you actually before the video. So I hope you are prepared. If you would have to like kind of pinpoint, you know, or like you know, list three bullet points of three main reasons that internally, emotionally, made you, you know create this photograph what would you say those reasons were you you're, you you put me on the spot here um I the do. reason well, well just this one photograph i created because i saw um i saw an opportunity for a really cool looking abstract you know i'm drawn i'm a graphic designer so i'm drawn to lines and angles and um you know just making an image that looks like when you look at it, you might not know immediately what it is, but you know, it's something sort of familiar and it's just the way I like to shoot emotionally. Um, I am not, I'm not a, I'm a very upbeat person. I mean, maybe people have got that impression, <laughs> but I, I use humor to get through, you know, life's slings and arrows. I, I don't like to, I don't like to complain a lot, you know, I just kind of, cause sometimes when you're cheerful and you smile a lot, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and then it just makes you happy. You know, you can't be down when you're smiling and everything. Um, so emotionally, uh, it, my photography gives me something to look forward to for the rest of my life. I look at it as, um, you know, we all get older and, you know, it gets harder to mm. think what, what's going to happen in the future. What am I going to be doing? I'm going to be taking pictures. I mean, this is, I came to this kind of late in life. I call myself a late bloomer and um, I'm just having so much fun with it. So emotionally for me, uh, you're never going to see, like, even though this project is the result of a lot of stress and it's my way of coping with it, kind of showing that, um, you know, you can, your life can get ripped apart, but you put yourself back together. That's about as deep as I'll get with it, Tomas, honestly, because it's just, 
it makes me happy. What can I say? Wonderful. And one one follow up question here: When you're presenting this, you know, image to 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 the to the public, and you know, mm -hmm. let's see, we we see the title, got it. Uh, without you explaining, right, telling us what it is, where it is, uh, I would obviously not know that it's your bathroom, right? right? Do is this uh, is it important for you to you know to make the viewer know the context, the place, the location, or or it does not really matter? You know, it's really funny that you asked me that because I'm taking a workshop right now. Um, it's called Gathering Light, and it's a year-long workshop where we share images and we, we talk about them. And I had posted one of them from the series, and a guy had said, you know, your little story you told doesn't really match the image. Like, my story was about stress and reacting to it, and the image was not, it, you know, it didn't depict stress. So the way I explained that is that I like pictures, I like words almost as much as I like images. And I like to marry, I like to cr title creatively. Um, a lot of times my titles just mean something to me. I had somebody ask, um, ask me, what do you mean by gutted? And I, I said, I, I'm happy to explain it. And once I explain mm -hmm. it, people get it. But I feel like the images can stand on their own. I think if I was going to present it as a series or make a book out of it or something, I would tell a story about it and explain mm -hmm. why. But I'm comfortable that the images work on their own as images. You know, it's, I mean, I, I have pictures of sawdust. I've been posting them on my page. Um, you know, sheet rock, sawdust. Um, some mm -hmm. of them people react to more than others, but it's okay. I like them. I, I saw a couple of, you know, your photographs from this particular series. I think they were maybe also from your bathroom. I mean, I think this kind of images, they would yeah. just lo look amazing when printed bigger, you know, uh, yeah. framed beautifully <laughs> and on, you know, just put them on the white wall would look just amazing. I mean, this one, cool. I might I like be ordering that. this one, <laughs> this one from you for my office, you know. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like that one. My, my, actually, my favorite so far is one I did post in frames and it was sheetrock um, kind of stacked in the garage. But what struck me about that um, I'm always looking for light and shadow. There's no light and shadow in my bathroom right now. But I went outside to see what the guys were doing. And I noticed that it was around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I had the sun streaming in the garage, the long shadows. And they were falling across the sheetrock. And I just thought it was one of the most beautiful things I'd ever seen. And it's three pieces of sheetrock leaning against uh, a bigger piece of sheetrock in the garage. So I don't know. I, I have my own taste, things that I like. They don't necessarily resonate with other people, but um, that's okay. Excellent. So. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great, great okay. story. Great image. Once more, congratulations. And yeah, we are sharing Thank it you. very soon on the channel. And maybe you can okay. send me the link to the other photograph you just mentioned so we can also share it, you know, in the description if, you know, for people. If sure. you wanna I'd have be a look happy at the to. Other one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Talk next time. Thank, Thank you. you so much. All right. Bye-bye.